Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. Hey, 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 we are finally back designing, you guys. I'm in my living room today because I'm still working on my design room, getting it organized. So I wanted to go ahead and put a pause and bring you guys a video today with us actually um, creating, okay? I haven't done a video making a basket since Valentine's. So I definitely wanted to stop, um, take a pause from the shopping and go ahead and show you guys some beautiful designs that you can be working on or give you some ideas of some things that you're going to be working on. This was actually a question that was asked on one of my lives, like what would I be doing with the waffle makers? Make, waffle makers, exactly what would I be adding in the basket with it? So I want to give you guys a couple different um, ideas that will kind of open up your mindset and get you to thinking. A lot of you probably have already thought about doing this because, hey, it's pretty typical. You got a waffle maker, so you're going to be making what? Waffles or pancakes, and you're going to be making, um, using syrup to go with it. So some things are kind of self-explanatory, but I want to go ahead and bring into play these beautiful dishes, guys, that we used last year, and they brought these same dishes back this year in Dollar Tree. So I was excited to see them. It looks like they made the cups a little bit smaller this year, but the exact the exact same print is back in the stores for today. So I haven't taped anything down or got anything stationary. Just kind of went ahead and put things together so that when I got ready to come on the video, then um, we would already have everything worked out. Did I welcome you guys to the channel? If I didn't, Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my amazing boss buddies. If you're not a boss buddy, what are you waiting on? Make sure you slam, smash, grab that subscribe bell button and hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified, okay? So what we have is a actual menu chalkboard that you can actually write on. I got this from um, Dollar General last, I want to say last summer because it was a green dot. So after summer clearance last year, I got this and I only paid 70 cent for it, okay? I got a couple of them I paid a penny for, but a couple of them I paid 70 cent for because they were originally seven, $7. And I got a lot of stuff at 90% off. So whether I paid a penny or 70, 70 cent, that's what I paid for this board. And of course the plate, the bowl, and the coffee mug came from Dollar Tree. This right here, the spoon and the spatula as well came from Dollar General and I paid 10 cents for these, okay? 10 cents a piece for those. This Utopia Original Pancake Mix, I got this from my local Dollar Tree and I've mentioned it on a couple videos. I only paid 25 cents for this and some of you were saying that um, your items don't go to 25 cents in your Dollar Tree. I've never seen it go 25 cents at my Dollar Tree. It wasn't listed or posted or anything. I was just simply going to buy some of these at regular price. And when she scanned it, it came up at 25 cents. So since it was 25 cents, y'all already know what Boss Lady Fee did. I cleared the shelf, okay? That's what I did. But if you don't get this from, um, you can't find it at your local Dollar Tree or it's not marked at your Dollar Tree for 25 cents, then hey, head over to Aldi's or one of the more inexpensive stores and grab you some, okay? And in reality, out is probably, now it's gonna be the same price as like paying 125 at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed this from Dollar Tree, it was 125. And of course, you know, my waffle makers, a couple of them I paid 250 for them, but for the bulk of them, I paid 99 cents for, um, for them at Walmart during the um, after Valentine's sale. You know, some people are still finding them. So, hey, maybe you'll find them. This is the actual pink one. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to have to start building the whole basket over again. But this is the pink heart-shaped one. And the brand is, what is this? My Mini um, Waffle Maker. And it's by, it's N-S-T-L-G-A, however that's pronounced, okay? So, that's the brand that you need to be looking for, okay? And what I did for my beginners that are not used to following me, um, how I built this basket. And of course, I will be doing videos building it from A to Z. But this one, I've already, like I said, started to prepare. This is one of the beautiful boxes that my mom um, 
wrap for me and this actual wrapping paper came from Dollar Tree. You'll probably be able to find this or something similar in your Dollar Tree being that Mother's Day is in the spring. Um, Easter is in the spring. I wanted to bring out my spring colors, okay? And those of you that follow me know that I love colors, okay? I'm not afraid of colors. I'm not one that feel like everything have to match. I love to play around with colors. Most creative people love to play around with colors. So you will be seeing quite a few colors on my channel. If you, if I use um, ribbon, more than likely, I'm gonna mix several different colors. And what did I do with my ribbon? I must have left it, so I'm gonna have to grab that. I thought I had brought everything in, but I'll show you when I make my bows, I like to bring in several different colors several different patterns and that's how i tie everything in okay but design according to your taste and according to your liking um but yeah that's pretty much everything i've explained where i got it from and all of that as you'll see i'm using transparent tape which i always use sometimes i use the wider tape but to just tape items one to another i would recommend that you use the thin um the well the narrow um regular office tape to tape your items one to the other because the whole object of creating um or building your basket is you don't want people to see the build of your basket okay so if you use um uh, what you call them skewers or you use tape the whole object of the game is to keep these things from being seen okay keep them from being seen so um, you may be able to glance in it and kind of peep it out, but you don't want a person's eye to go directly to tape. You don't want a person's eye to go directly to skewers. So like if you're building candy um, bouquets or whatever you're building for Mother's Day or Easter, make sure that you keep the mechanics or the building of your baskets from being seen, okay? In the bottom of this basket, I use newspaper or the bottom of this box. I use newspaper and I use cardboard. We don't want those things seen. So you see, well, you may not be able to see, but let me tilt it down a little bit. You're able to see it when I tilt it down. Hopefully you can. Um, you can see it now, right? So the object of the game is to cover those things, all right? So that's what I have this for. And this is actually some paper that came from a gift that somebody gave me. Always, always recycle, guys. Always recycle. Don't throw away items like this because you're definitely going to use them again. And I've been saving this for um, a little while. And I thought, okay, I got green in my box and I want to bring in several different colors. So we're going to go ahead and use our green um, gift tissue that we have recycled from another gift, right? So all we're doing is going in, closing in the gaps, okay? If you are a beginner, never use these items to um, fill in your whole basket. These items, like the shred and the gift tissue, these items are only used to fill in the holes or the gaps. They're not to be used to cover the bottom of your basket. Your basket should not be built, built with um, shrink wrap. It shouldn't be built with gift tissue. You need something sturdy on your gift. Because guess what? If I if I fill this whole big box up with just this right here, when I get ready to put these heavy items on, you see how I'm beating on these items? They're not going anywhere. It's bouncing up and down a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. Even after it's settled, it's not going anywhere because I have newspaper in here and I also have cardboard in here. So it's not going anywhere. Make sure that you are not using um, like I said, um, shred to build your baskets and you're not using gift tissue because your items will sink over time. So it may be looking really nice to you now when you create it, but by the time your person or your customer buys the gift, you do not want those items um, to be settled down in the basket. You want them to be sitting up so that the person is able to see it. And that's the whole object of designing is so that everything is eye level. A person should never have to look down into your basket to see any every to see anything. Everything should be eye level. When I look at it, I should be able to tell you that's a waffle maker. I should be able to look. That's pancake syrup. I should be able to tell that's you know pancake mix. That's a menu board. I should be able to tell that 
people are going to ask because it's just what they do. But it should be visible to the eye what's being portrayed in this basket. Whatever theme is being portrayed, it should be able to be seen, shown, and felt when a person receives the gift or when a person buys the gift, okay? It should never be in question. What is this basket all about, okay? So I've given you one idea of what you can do with your waffle maker. You can take it as far as even adding a robe in because this is pretty much portraying a bed, um, a breakfast in bed basket, okay? Whomever it is, it's going to be serving the mom for Mother's Day or Easter or whatever the occasion may be. The mom is going to be relaxed in the bed. You can use um, you can use a house coat to help portray the you know relaxation bed relax whatever you're trying to portray. You can use this. You can also go as far as adding coffee or tea to this basket. I kind of try to stray away from that unless it's a specific. Um, Unless it's a specific basket, like a coffee basket or a coffee lover's basket, I kind of try to stray away from adding coffees and teas because, and I do do it sometime now. You've seen me do it in some videos, but for the most part, every single basket that I make bed and breakfast related, I'm not going to add coffee or tea because everybody have different preferences and I don't want to have Folgers in a basket and they'd be like, oh, they drink Maxwell House. Like, I like the basket and I would buy it, but it's Folgers and they don't drink Folgers. So that person will, that will cause you to break or either make a sale by putting specific items sometimes in baskets. Sometimes it works to your advantage and sometimes it works to your disadvantage. So my suggestion would be if you're going to be out on the street selling and you're going to be selling to a multitude of people, then you want to make sure that you have a variation of your gifts, okay? Just like with this, I wouldn't put all of my um, bed and breakfast baskets with robes in it. I would put robes in a few of them. I wouldn't put coffee and tea in all of them. I would put coffee and tea in a couple of them. You see what I'm saying? Leave that variation open because, hey, you're going to get somebody that's going to come there to be like, oh, yeah, this is perfect. My mom drank Folgers. My mom loved a lounge in her house coat. But then you're going to get somebody to come up and be like, my mama don't drink coffee. My mama don't wear house coats, you know, that type of thing. So you want to keep a wide variety of gifts. I know everybody may not make as many gift baskets as I do. And I know one of the questions that's going to come up, how many baskets are you going to make for Easter? How many are you going to make for Mother's Day? I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't even have a goal set. My thing is I'm just going to design until I'm tired, okay? I'm going to design until I'm tired. I work really, really hard for Mother's, I mean, for Valentine's Day. I sold well over 500 gifts. So I'm content with whatever I do for Easter and whatever I do for Mother's Day. It's just going to be a supplement to what I've already made. I'm cool with that, okay? But I can tell you now, I'm going to work hard and I'm going to make quite a few baskets. I just don't know how many. I doubt very seriously if it'll be 500, but who knows? Whatever I design, whatever I make, I have the inventory. Whether I want to make 100, 500, or 1,000, I have the inventory to do that. So we're just going to see what it does. I'm trying to relax some. I'm trying to rest some. I'm trying to vacate some. I'm trying to do all those things I can to have a healthy recovery um, to, you know, due to the fact of me just losing my husband. I want to kind of take everything at a pace where I'm steadily working, steadily designing, but not overwhelming myself with work, okay? It was a time when I had to do that. I don't have to do that now. So we're kind of just going with the flow of life and letting God lead us what we do and everything like that. So listen, guys, I'm going to make this video a part two because it's getting a little bit lengthy. And I try to keep my videos, I usually try to keep them under 10 minutes, but we're right at 15 minutes. So anyway, you see this beautiful design and what we'll do is we'll come back on another video, wrap it up, and I'll show you guys how to do a cute and creative bow, okay? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye.